Hey guys, it's been a while since I posted a video. Uh, probably two or three months, I think, at this point. But, uh, thought I'd show you what I'm up to. So I just picked up this 1986 Fleetwood Prowler. Oh, I sold the motorhome about a year and a half or so ago. Picked this guy up, tow with the F-150. Uh, doing some work to it today so I threw a new trailer jack on my new propane tanks I still need to get the tie down bracket that locks these in place I'm using 20 pound tanks instead of 30 pounders uh, two new propane lines and a regulator still need to get uh, some batteries for it and a battery box so it does need a little bit more work oh, I've got some spots that could use some sheet metal screws and some silicone to seal it up but overall it's not a not a bad little trailer it's 24 feet back from the very back bumper to the uh, ball I'm not sure of the interior footage yet I haven't measured it I've got to seal that up uh, I did have an awning that got ripped off the uh Back side of the trailer, nothing too fancy. Roof, still need to climb up there and take a look. Uh, I do know I need three new roof vents, which I've picked up. So I'll step inside and take a look. So first thing when you walk in, ooh, it's dark in here. Turn on the lighting. All the lights, all the appliances, everything works except for the furnace. It uses a Pazio uh, electric lighter. And it's burnt out. And I cannot seem to find a new one for the style of furnace I have. So, starting in here, this is the bathroom. Turn this light on. So, the shower needs some work. This stuff needs to come out. And put up some beadboard in here but I mean it doesn't feel like it's wet I do know I need some new roof vents like I said um, this one's got some cracking on it actually all of them have some cracks in them this one's got a good crack in it but all of the mechanisms still work, thankfully. Uh, it is a bunk model. So two beds there. Table becomes a bed. Uh, here's the other roof vent. This is the worst of them. As you can see. And then here's where the master bed is. Uh, there was a couch in here. I'll put some pictures up on the screen. I don't know, maybe up here somewhere, of the couch that was in here. I got rid of it because it was maybe the size of a single. You know, me and the wife couldn't really sleep on here together. So I got rid of it and got this uh, Playtex or Intex uh, inflatable uh, couch. Folds out to be a queen-size bed. Throw some foam down on it. I'm good and golden. This is a drop-down bunk. And it's storage when it's not in a bunk. I'll, uh, I'll put the phone down. And see if I can get a, a view up there. So this bed supposedly holds up to 150 pounds, but I don't know if I would trust it on the end of the trailer. But it is a bunk bed. I do have the board and the mattress foam for it. I don't think I'm going to use it as a bed ever. But it's just a drop down bed held in with a couple of latches. Here's the kitchen, decent little size. Uh, storage underneath the sink, it's a double sink, water pump, and some storage. Stove top and oven works, the fan here works, and it's got a microwave nook. So, uh, fridge, 
It's a Dometic, both gas and electric. Decent sized freezer for a, an old travel trailer. So that's a quick little walk around of this, uh, of this camper. So maybe we'll get a video when I change out the roof vents. If it's not stupid windy outside. So anyways, catch you guys later.